walk through life armored against all fear, peril, and disaster. Only two things are needed, two that go always together. The grace of the Divine Mother and on your side an inner state made up of faith, sincerity, and surrender. Let your faith be pure, candid, and perfect. An egoistic faith in the mental and vital being tainted by ambition, pride, vanity, mental arrogance, vital self-will, personal demand, desire for the petty satisfactions of the lower nature, is a low and smoke-obscured flame that cannot burn upwards to heaven. Regard your life as given you only for the divine work and to help in the divine manifestation. Desire nothing but the purity, force, light, wideness, calm and under of the divine consciousness and its insistence to transform and perfect your mind, life and body. Ask for nothing but the divine, spiritual and supramental truth. Its realization on earth and in you and in all who are called and chosen and the conditions needed for its creation and its victory over all opposing forces. Let your sincerity and surrender be genuine and intact. When you give yourself, give completely, without demand, without condition, without reservation, so that all in you shall belong to the Divine Mother and nothing be left to the ego or given to any other power. The more complete your faith, sincerity and surrender, the more will grace and protection be with you. And when the grace and protection of the Divine Mother are with you, what is there that can touch you? Or whom need you fear? A little of it even will carry you through all difficulties, obstacles, and dangers. Surrounded by its full presence, you can go securely on your way, because it is hers. Careless of all menace, unaffected 
by any hostility, however powerful, whether from this world or from worlds invisible. Its touch can turn difficulties into opportunities, failure into success, and weakness into unfaltering strength. For the grace of the Divine Mother is the sanction of the Supreme. And now, or tomorrow, its effect is sure. A thing decreed, inevitable, and irresistible.